everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sam and I'm an instructional designer. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to build a portfolio using Google Sites because having a portfolio is super important when you're applying to jobs, whether it's an instructional design job, graphic design job, developer job, etc. There are a ton of different options of like different platforms you could use to build a portfolio. But for this video, we'll just be building a Google site because it's free, it's easy to access, and doesn't take too much to get up and running. So this video will kind of act as like a part one of two in a portfolio building series. So in the next video, we'll actually practice building portfolio projects that you could put within your portfolio. But in this video, we're gonna focus on like how you would build out the structure of your website or your portfolio site so that you have a nice starting place to fill in with your portfolio projects your about me section, your skills, your accomplishments, etc. In the Google site that we're gonna be creating together, we're gonna to have an about section. We're going to have two portfolio projects and a resume. The two portfolio projects will be mini courses with two to three modules in each. All right, let's get into it. Alrighty, so this is Google sites. All you need to access Google sites is a Gmail account and then go to sites.google.com. There are a few different like pre-made templates that you can use for your Google site, but for today's example, we're actually gonna be using just a blank template and building our site from scratch. So here's a blank Google site. I'll start by adding a site name and modifying the heading. You can change this name at any time. It just helps keep it organized amongst all of my other Google sites that I've built. I'm also changing the header type to be just title only because I don't really want to have to worry about finding a background image right now. And you can always change that again once you've kind of started filling out your portfolio. So next I'll add my about me section and I'll use some of these like content blocks um, because I want to have an image and some text. I think it's important to have the about me section like right up front because with a portfolio you want to give the recruiter or the hiring manager, the information that they're looking for right away. So in the about me section, you can add like a high level overview of who you are, what type of work you do. You can highlight like any skills if you want in this section and also, you know, how people can work with you if they're interested. And I am just going to quickly change the font because it's bothering me. I'll click themes and then there's a few different themes that I can choose from and that'll change like the text style and color throughout. All right, that feels better to me. All right, so below this, we'll then add in a section for portfolio projects where I can include like I'm going to probably include two different portfolio projects in this example. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'm not gonna be building the actual portfolio projects just yet. That will be in a later video, but this is kind of gonna be a placeholder where I can put the portfolio projects just so you can see like how I would set up my portfolio and like the flow of it. Okay, so I really like these content blocks, this two content block for this purpose because I can add a title, I can add a short description, and I can add an image to each like portfolio project. And then I'll probably link each title and image to those portfolio projects so that recruiters or hiring managers have multiple ways to click into those portfolio projects. All right, so the last section on the homepage of my Google site is gonna be like a resume and I'll probably have like a PDF or like a Google, like Google Doc embedded version of my resume right here front and center so that recruiters, again, hiring managers can really easily access all of my information. And below the resume, I think the last thing that's important to have is a footer. This is where I will have my contact information. Again, I'll include my email and this footer will show up across all pages within your Google site. So you only have to set this one time. And make sure that if you have an email address, you link it to that email address so that when people click on that link, it'll open up their email. All right, and so that's how I would set up like the home page of my portfolio. And now we're gonna start to look into how I would set up the portfolio projects. I'm not gonna actually be building the portfolio projects, but this is how I will set them up within the portfolio so that you know if you have time, you can start to fill in your projects in these different places. 
All right, so to make my first portfolio project, I will create a new page. Just for now, I'll, I'll call it portfolio project one and then push done. Now this is a blank page. This will contain the, my portfolio project. On the first page of the portfolio project, I like to have some sort of introduction because this is going to be like a mini course. So on the first page of the mini course, I'll have, you know, the project title or the course title, and then I'll give a bit of information about what people will find in this mini course. I like to have like a project description, a problem statement, which is like what problem am I trying to solve with this course? learning objectives, learner outcomes, like what are the learners going to be able to do by taking the course. Then I also like to have like an outline which will contain, you know, all the modules that will be within the course. And eventually I'll link out each module to each, you know, module of the course. All right, so that's page one of my portfolio project one. Now let's go ahead and create like the modules of this portfolio project. So to make a module of this portfolio project, I will then also create a new page. Well, I'll be creating three new pages because I'm going to have three modules. But for this example, we'll start by creating the first module page. And then I'll want to nest it underneath the portfolio project so that it's like nested below. You can also see this in the search nav bar up at the very top. I have a portfolio project one with like a little drop down. That's going to like show all of the different modules. So here I am making three different module pages. And this is where you can go ahead and fill in the content for each of your modules. And this is going to be like, you know, each lesson or each section of your mini course. And now that I have each of the module pages linked or created, actually, I'm going to add them to the outline from the first page and I'm going to link it out. So meaning if, you know, a recruiter is looking at your outline and they see module one, module two, module three outline, they can actually click into each of those modules and it will bring them to the page of the module that they've selected. So if they just want to look at like one example of a module, they can click onto, you know, example module two, and it'll bring them to that page, which is kind of nice. It's not necessary to do this. I just like to have it as like a little extra something to make it like super easy to navigate. And so that's portfolio project one. Now we're going to go back to the home page where we had that portfolio project section, and we are going to add the links to that portfolio project one that we just made. So we can link out the title of this to Portfolio Project 1. So if a recruiter clicks on Portfolio or Project 1, that title there, it'll bring them to that Portfolio Project page. Alrighty, so now let's go ahead and set up Project 2. We'll do the same exact thing as we did for Portfolio Project 1 by creating a new page and we will title this one Portfolio Project 2. Once I create this page, I'm actually going to just use the exact same content from Portfolio Project 1 or like that template because I am going to just want the same type of content so I can easily just copy and paste that into Portfolio Project 2. Alrighty, so then we'll go ahead and we'll make the modules. I think for this example, this mini course will just have two modules um, because they don't have to be identical and I can always add more pages if I need to. Um, again, in my next video, I will cover like how to actually create the content for these 
dip like different modules and different mini courses for your portfolio project. Okay, struggling to organize this, but figured it out. All right, cool. So again, as a placeholder, I will just add some placeholder text. Remember, this is just us practicing how to build out like the skeleton or like the site structure for your portfolio. And we can, you can always add in your content once you've built out this structure. And again, I want to make sure that I'm linking out each outline or each part of the outline to the appropriate module so that if someone is looking at the outline, they can just click in very easily to that respective module. All right, cool. And then again, you can see that it's in the title or sorry, in the nav bar at the very top. But now let's go ahead and make sure that the projects in our portfolio projects section of our site is linked properly. Ooh, I'll also show you how to link an image in case the recruiter, you know, decides that they want to click on the image instead and make sure that that links to the appropriate project, you know, so that there's multiple ways for the recruiter to access your project that you have. All right, so if I actually click on the image, you'll see that there's this little link icon. I can just click that and select the page that we want to link that image to. And I'll make sure I do that also for the first project because I forgot to do that then. Oops. All right. So yeah, you can see in the header, like I said before, you can hide these if you want. You can hide the drop downs if you want, but if you do end up hiding the drop downs from you know, your nav bar, you're gonna wanna make sure that you include navigation within the modules so people can like navigate between um, modules and courses. And that is basically how you would build a very simple portfolio with an about me section, two portfolio projects and a resume as well as ways for you know recruiters and hiring managers to contact you. You can always build out more pages if needed, but Hope that you found this very helpful as a start. Alrighty y'all, so that's it for today's video on how to get started building your portfolio using Google Sites. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And remember, our next video in this series is gonna be actually building those portfolio projects that we can then put into our portfolio. There'll be mini courses, and I think you'll get a lot of value out of it. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. I'll see you in the next one, bye.